Hey everyone, this new character is fun. 100% fun, home run, Blizzard has done something again. Ever since season 9, they've been, they've been doing a great job on everything. I really like playing as him. From the combos, the, the moveset, the, the simplicity, this feels like one of the original Overwatch characters. This design is really well done. And I could even see him being maybe a little OP, kind of like uh, when Doomfist came out, original Overwatch 1. And this character is like a, a dumbed down Doomfist, but like more simple and I guess fair to play against, right? When I'm destroying people with him, I don't really feel like I'm... I don't, I don't feel like it feels bad for them, right? Because you do a lot of uh, attacks that hit a lot of people. So I, it's, uh, it's very interesting. It's very interesting. But yeah, I'm definitely feeling the the love that I had for Doomfist when he first came out. And he's also a lot easier to play. Like, I've, I found out that at a certain point, everything just became, on day one, everything just kind of became second nature, really. Because when I played Doomfist for the first time in Overwatch 1, it took me a long, long, long time to get the combos down. He was much more rigid. He was much, much more punishable. And... It, I don't know. I, I really stuck to him for a while just because I liked the the character design. So, so yeah, Venture is a is a home run for the team, and his mobility is insane. Similar to uh, Doomfist when he first came out, where I think he can seismic slam like pretty high upwards. There's like a, a good curve to a good arc to where he would start to where he could end up. And he would punch so far, and he he had so much he can do. And I feel like that's going to be the case with Venture. That the way the way he's designed, he could just do so much, just so 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 much. The mobility is insane. Even like like he could get as high up to like what like Farah height, like a flying Farah. If he like to say he's he's underground. And then he charges up his jump and then goes in the sky and then does his drill upward. You go really, really far. So there's, there's so much to him. It's, again, the great thing about Doomfist when he first came out was that it was a bunch of like little things you can string together, but like in different ways. So it's like a lot of small things, kind of like Magic the Gathering, right? I'm a fan of Magic the Gathering. And what I like about that is there's a lot of small things to the, to like, you say your deck or something that you can kind of it kind of adds up right you have like this thing that does this one little thing this thing that does this one little thing and then over over time you just kind of make this big thing and i think that's that's what they captured in venture just like uh doomfist and yeah this might be one of my new favorite characters um i do still think i prefer trace i don't know because visually he's a lot more fun right you're underground you're going in the air you're going back down you <laughs> his melee is like really nice to to like visually he's much more satisfying and it just feels good like even learning learning the kit learning the combos and things like that at some point you're not even learning the combos you just kind of know what you can do and i haven't even played that many games of them but like i played i don't know maybe five but i guess the wait times in between all the games are so long um that i'm kind of spending most of my time just uh, you know playing around with the kit against other other people who are who are playing as venture so I do, there is a good amount of practice there, but it's it's real quick. Like you give yourself an hour or two and you'll just be like reflexively, you know, doing things, which was, it took much longer on Doomfist. So I think this is a a softer Doomfist, which is uh, I think a good thing. Doomfist was pretty rigid back then, like really rigid, uh, really high skill floor, really high skill ceiling. And I think this skill floor is moderate right when i first started it was a little clunky but again like after an hour or two like you're, you're just you know what you're doing so yeah and i would i would imagine super high skill ceiling this is great design and i think the best way you can the best way you can look at how a, a character is designed to see like if the quality of the characters the the distance between the skill ceiling and the skill floor right they can be useful early on when you're not that good but then once you really get into it when you really kind of learn their kit you like freaking dominate so actually let, let's uh i want to go over all the all the skills and kind of just talk about them a little bit kind of like what i did this morning 
So the excavator, very interesting. I was worried about it at first because uh, it was much like Ilari, right? It was just kind of like, you just kind of shoot it. It's like a simple gun, right? You just kind of shoot it. And it doesn't seem like it does a lot of damage if you if you hit people with the AOE. But uh, when you hit them straight on, it does a, a nice chunk. It's really, it's also super easy to aim, like really easy to aim. Um, partially, I guess, because of the season nine changes, but but yeah, like, you would you would just go all around it's like oh i see this person click 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 and combining that with uh, coming out of the ground shooting up in the sky it, i don't know does it does it headshot i don't think i paid attention yeah i'll have to i think it does headshot i'm not entirely sure and honestly i would say maybe my least favorite thing about this character is uh, is his gun like i it feels still a little clunky to shoot even the ultimate's kind of kind of weird i don't like the ultimate that much but uh uh, it's it's fine. It's easy. It's easy to shoot. You feel like you're you're getting value out of it. Like you feel like you're getting an impact. And when you hit something head on and they like explode, it's it's a nice feeling. And uh, I guess since I spoke about his uh, his ultimate, let's talk about his ultimate. I don't know how I feel about his ultimate. It's strong, right? It's pretty reliable of getting like kills at, right? Um, but I don't know. It doesn't feel impactful, right? I don't feel it's strong, but it doesn't feel strong. Right, it's just, it's just kind of this wave, it's just like little shockwaves on the ground. It, you don't really, it's not like a boom, like a, what do you call it? Uh, Reinhardt's, uh, Reinhardt's ultimate. But then again, it's not Reinhardt, right? So, you know, whatever, whatever. But yeah, that's, I don't know, it just feels physically not that impactful. It is impactful as in, you know, you're, you're getting kills, you're getting picks, but yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Burrow is awesome, I love Burrow. I thought it was gonna be, OP, but it's not. It's it's very manageable. You see it coming a mile away. If he's trying to like jump out of the ground, you see that coming so you can get out the way. Everybody's kind of mobile now. But the setup for this, like, it feels so good when you're underground and then you go under like a giant team and they're slowly trying to get away while you're charging your thing. And you, you kind of have to time it right, right? You got to go a little bit past them so they're kind of running there. Kind of like Doomfist's uh, Seismic Slam. Right, not seismic slime, like his uh, meteor strike. You kind of just go a little bit ahead and then, you know, you pop out, everybody goes in the air, then you can shoot them, melee them. I actually found that I really like um, lifting up in the air and just meleeing them. I, that feels really good. I love doing that to Morris for some reason. But, oh yeah, and you can chase Morris pretty effectively. Another move, his other move, Drill Dash, also feels so good. There's like all these mul multiple hits and all this stuff. It's great. I think he's so well designed. Everything about his kit is satisfying, except for his ultimate. <laughs> except for his ultimate. And you can see a lot of kind of Doomfist-ish play with his moves, right? His Drill Dash is very similar to an uncharged punch from, uh, from Doomfist back in the day. It was like really quick. You just kind of go a short distance, but, you know, getting multiple hits on a character feels good it really feels good the burrow feels like a rising uppercut right like a rising uppercut but mixed with uh with a meteor strike but <laughs> but instead of coming from the sky you're coming from underground which is awesome uh tectonic plates i guess is very similar to assassin slam right you have that triangle aoe right in front of you that you know you can do and even his um his smart excavator his uh his primary fire is like slow shooting but kind of strong so if you get it right so you know like doomfish shotgun so yeah man i think every part of his kit is a little bit <laughs> like like doomfist like a very soft like if doomfist had a child <laughs> like a soft little baby that you know he's just kind of learning the ropes that's what adventure feels like and uh i guess to move on to his passives um explorer's resolve is literally well it's not literally um but it's very similar to doomfist's um what do you call that uh passive uh, the best the best offense yeah no the best defense where you know the more he attacks the more he heals the difference is i don't think his matters how many people he actually hits i don't yeah i think just using his abilities is what grants him the shield um doomfist is everybody that he hits but again which makes sense because all his moves hit several people and his clobber feels great it feels really good when you're hitting somebody and i, th I think it has a multiple hit which is i think the what does the extra damage feels good and you could string it along really really well 
you can string on so many things together like the burrow you can time your burrow and your drill dash to kind of what is it i think you could do your burrow and then your drill dash and then when you get out you have like another drill dash or something something like that i've seen people do some crazy stuff and then be, and then when you're done with your drill dash maybe a few seconds later you can burrow again but let's say you string it along with like shooting and using your clobber you could string along like a lot of things depending on where you go how high you go you know the time it takes to fall down your cooldowns are still going down so very fun and what i found interesting about playing him well, playing against him is that he's super easy to kill. When I play Tracehead, <laughs> just go around the whole game just killing him. So he's very manageable at the same time. He's huge. See, look at that jacket. I don't know. He's wearing that big ass jacket. So yeah, so for a DPS character, he's huge. He's very easy to kill. I think he's very, uh, which is which makes sense as to why they gave him his uh, his passive ability. Um, yeah, he's a mid range fighter. I don't really like playing him on defense because he's very much divey and there is an like an absolute limit to how far his his uh his primary fire can go so you're just kind of stuck if the enemy's not really getting close to you or like within your range like there's there's nothing you can do and a lot of your abilities are to get into the fight as opposed to getting out of the fight so there's there's that but other than that man this is great i'm gonna keep playing him and i don't know i don't know i might switch him out with uh with uh with tracer maybe not i don't know actually i don't know yeah i don't know um it could be venture tracer and echo that i that i start playing for for dps but yeah that's it for this video um let me know what you think in the comments uh like and subscribe and don't forget i love you and also don't forget i wrote a high fantasy uh young adult adventure novel so if you guys are interested in that link for that is in the description all right have a good one everyone Konfaga, Roots of a Very Old Tree, a high fantasy young adult book with a modern take on African mythology. After a mysterious confrontation with his father at school, Marcus Jabda finds himself in the land of Kara. With a small band of determined adventurers and a robust magic system he must quickly learn, Marcus begins his search for his family, a way home, and simultaneously tries to discover the mystery of the disappearances. From escaping Mamiwara and preventing wars between kingdoms, he'll need every edge his wits can give him to see the next day. However, the more he learns, the less things appear as they seem. But does he really want to go back to his old life? With hundreds of illustrations filled with clues of the history of the world, join Marcus as he attempts to solve this mystery. Confaga, Roots of a Very Old Tree is available now on Amazon. Link in the description.